So we all know it, but short form video clips are all the rage on literally every single social media platform right now. And today I wanna give you a really in-depth tutorial of how I actually edit a lot of my short form content to distribute across all of these channels, all inside of my editing software Descript. Let's dive right in. So diving into Descript here, I wanna show you guys exactly how I would go and kind of create a short form video, specifically coming straight from my YouTube videos, my long form content. So inside of Descript here, let's just pretend I'm currently editing this video right now. And let's say I say something really, really good here and I wanna clip it up for social media. I'm going to select it. You're going to right click, duplicate to a new composition. And personally, I like to come up into here. You can see the new composition here. I like to name it. So specifically, this will be social clip number one. If I want to keep it landscape for TikTok and post it as a landscape or horizontal video on TikTok, I would name it as such. I keep it generic with social clip one because I'm going to take this clip and post it on Instagram. I'll put it on TikTok. I'll put it on YouTube short and so many different other places. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is you're going to click on the video itself here. We need to change this to a portrait landscape. And the one thing I want you guys to double check here is make sure that your settings are correct. There have been a lot of times where I'll fully edit this and it'll be in 720p. I prefer 1080p, especially for posting to social media. Now, the next big thing, we want to extend this and make sure that it, the framing of this is correct. So the next part of the process, if you're not familiar with the script, these are considered scenes. And the best way to add a scene is you're gonna hit that forward slash button and it creates another scene here for you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because my process and the way that I like to work is to make sure that everything in this scene is correct before we go and create more scenes. And basically, scenes are going to help you really have fun with animation and different customizations. You'll see this, I know that sounds confusing right now, you'll see this as we go through the process. But from here, we're gonna wanna trim everything down and correct anything that we see in this script before we move on to the next stage. So let's say I don't want this to be in the video, you delete it, it removes it from the video. Let's say this is the wrong your, I, I think that is correct, but whatever, you can double click and replace it because we're gonna add captions to this. And if there's misspellings or it didn't translate what you said properly, you can come in and correct that as well. Like let's say we don't want that comma there. You can click correct or hit C on your keyboard and you can just remove the comma and click correct and it'll correct it for you. And once this video is trimmed down and you have removed any words, you have made sure that everything looks good here, this is when we can start kind of getting into the more fun and creative process. So inside of Descript, there are a ton of different um, templates that you can use. I've created a couple, but there's also a gallery in here that you guys can come into and apply these different looks to your short form videos. But I kind of like to do this from scratch every time. Eventually, I think I might have some more formulated templates, if you will. But sometimes I just like to play around with the video. So first and foremost, we're going to add text and we are going to add captions. And now there are so many different ways that you can customize captions. It is going to revert back to the last one that you used. And this is the last time that I created this. But you can adjust the sizing. You can change the font. So personally, I'm going to switch this to a different font. You can add shadows and then you can come in here and really customize the style of how these subtitles look. There are so many different ways. Just go in and play around with it. But essentially, this is what it's going to look like, especially if you're creating long form content and wanting to break it down. And now that we've added the captions, I like to do this before chopping up the scenes because I just think it's far easier and kind of get it into a place that you're fine with it staying for vast majority of the video. The next thing that I want to add is actually going to be a title, which is where I like to put my my hook of the video um, of the video. Obviously, this is way too large, so we'll decrease the size. And sometimes I like to play around with the fonts here. The other cool thing is you can upload your branded fonts. Sometimes it takes a second. Now this is added, as you can see, across the entire timeline. And this is why I do all of this first before we actually go and chop up the video. So let's make this a little larger, kind of move this around. I will probably do my yellow color and then a border to it. There's the hook of the video. And again, this extends across the entire thing. So what we're gonna do here is add in a scene. Again, you can hit that forward slash key, or if you don't want to, you can simply just click this right here. You can see it kind of clipped it down here for us. And let's say I wanted to add a B-roll clip right here over top of this part of the text. Where I want the B-roll clip to end, we're gonna add another scene. 
And from there, you can either import your own B-roll, but the really, really cool thing about Descript is that there are so many different things that you can add. You can add a square, you can add a circle, you can add your own footage or whatever, but you can also come up into their gallery and they pull all kinds of different videos and backgrounds and things like that. So let's just say um, woman on phone. And what we'll do is let it kind of search for it. And now once we find the clip that we want, we can just simply drag and drop it and you're gonna wanna drop it on that scene that we created. And from there, it's going to drop that and it adds it into the timeline. We will want to stretch this to however we want this to look. And now as we press play, I highly recommend that you start to involve this in your, if you want your captions and your title to be on top of that, you will have to right click and send this, um, let's send this to the back. Actually, this needs to be forward one more, layer orders, bring forward. Yes, so it needs to be on top of that. So that now that title and those captions. I highly top. recommend that you start to involve. So that is a quick and easy way to add B-roll to kind of you had some visual interest. And now let's say you want the captions, but you don't want this title on top of it. You're simply going to find the title here and you're gonna click on it and hit S, right? At where you don't want it to be and click where it ends. It should snap right on top, click S. You're gonna click on that portion and click delete. And now you can see before it is still there and after the video, it is still there, but it is not on that video itself. So that's an easy way to kind of play with things. And let's say you wanted the caption style to be different. We're gonna do the same process here and we're gonna select those captions. And let's say you want this to be much, much, much bigger. Um, you can adjust the sizing. And now just on that clip only, it is going to adjust the sizing of your captions. And we'll see what this looks like. I highly recommend that you start to involve this in your content creation. And it just kind of adds visual interest. This one looks a bit crazy. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes so you guys can see, but you can play around with that. You can even come in here, it's like, okay, maybe you don't like the shadow on this. We're gonna do this. And what we'll do is remove the border as well. And actually we're gonna add the shadow back, but we'll make it not nearly as, um, as harsh. Let's maybe have some blur to it. And then again, you can stylize this however you want. Now let's say we get to a point where you really wanna put emphasis and like kind of zoom in or use animation. We're gonna do the same style again, where we hit the forward slash to create a scene and we'll create another ending of the scene there. So we wanna animate this portion here. So we'll come to it. You're going to click here. You're going to add animation. They do have some animations inside the script. I personally don't like these. So I click on the custom one. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but just know that this is where the animation starts. This is where the animation ends. So I want it to start with my face right there, but I want it to end with my face zoomed in. So what we'll do is we'll adjust this. And so now what we can do is you can take this front part, move it over. The closer you get to each other, it, the faster the animation is gonna run, or we can do a slow pan and kind of drag it out. So let me show you what the fast version looks like first especially if you're creating long. And then what we have to do is you can click right here to find those keyframes again. If we want to lengthen that animation, this is what it's gonna look like, especially if you're creating long form. And then let's say at the end of this, it might be an abrupt jump back. So you can see what this looks like. Content, and if you like that jump cut, that's great, but we can also add a second animation. Let's do a custom one. It's gonna start here and where we want it to end is back normal. We'll get this right here. And again, we'll press play long form content and wanting to, and now it's back to normal. That's a really fun way of adding jump cuts and animations and zooms and pans. And there's so many different ways that you can use those keyframes, but the zoom in, zoom out effect is personally my favorite. And you can even apply this to text or anything like that. And the last fun stylistic thing that I really, really like doing is adding kind of like a plain background with the captions on top. So again, we're gonna create a scene. So we'll do this here and we'll create one at the end, actually. It's not gonna let me because that's the end of the video. We'll do this right here. Right here, I actually want to add in a rectangle and I want this to be at the forefront here. So we will stretch this out. I'm going to make it one of my brand colors. You guys can import your hex codes and things like that. And basically what I want to do is that same process that we did here with, with these captions. We're going to select where it starts. You're gonna hit this S for splice. Click again here. We're gonna splice that. And we want to bring the captions layer order bring to front and i want to create like really really fun text here so what we'll do is maybe we'll bring it into this font we're going to increase this to 200 we'll do this here and right now it's in the style choice of i believe carrie oh this one's custom so 
you can see you can add karaoke, which is going to highlight it in the background. Classic is going to just give you a classic subtitle or clean. It's going to give you this effect here where it shows up um, as the clip plays. It'll show each word. So this is what it's going to kind of look like. Break it down into short form content. Obviously, that was a really quick, quick clip. Um, but you guys can also create really fun looking kind of animation style uh, with your fonts and with your text and with your captions and such. Essentially what the end result is going to look like is something like this video. You can see that my captions come up. There was that subtle little zoom in animation. I have certain jump cuts. And right here is where I added that shape and have the captions on top. As this video goes on, you're gonna see that I added B-roll and had, you know, kind of customized the captions right here where you can see that it looks a little different on top of the B-roll. So truthfully, you can have so much fun and play around with this and it just, this is almost a 60 second video and it just added so much more visual interest to really keep people hooked and watching the video um, over the longevity of a longer short form video content piece. Now that you have learned exactly how I like to quickly and efficiently edit my short form videos inside of Descript. You guys can give Descript a try for yourself. You guys can head to the link below and try Descript for free. I highly recommend that you start to involve this in your content creation process, especially if you're creating long form content and wanting to break it down into short form content, or if you kind of just want to step up your short form video game without having to learn a crazy Adobe product or any other complicated software. Other than that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next week.